Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade lesson, sorry, chapter six, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so the estimation on this is kind of silly, but we're gonna do it anyway, okay? So one eighth is pretty close to zero, and one fourth is pretty close to a half. So zero plus one half, one half, okay? That's it, okay? So that's it, okay? Doesn't actually want you to do the math on this. It just wants you to do the estimate, okay? So four fifths is pretty close to one and one half, okay? So if your mom made you a sandwich and she took away half of it, you'd have a half left, okay? All right, so two and three fifths, well, three fifths is about a half, so we have about two and a half minus one and three eighths is about one and a half, okay? The way I'm doing this, guys, is it three is about half of five, okay? So I'm just saying it's about half, okay? Three is about half of eight because four would be half of eight, okay? So then I'm just going to take away the halves and then two minus one is one, okay? One half minus one half is nothing. So I just crossed them off, okay? And then two minus one estimate is one, okay? All right. One fifth is pretty close to zero. One is even close to half of five. And three seventh is about a half, so your estimate would be one half, okay? All right, two-fifths, eh, that's about half, okay? And two over three is about one, so one and a half we're adding here. Make sure you're paying attention to the signs because some of them are addition and some of them are subtraction, okay? Okay. You guys finish 7 through 12. Okay, you totally can. Okay, we're going to go down and do our problem solving, our word problems, okay? For a fruit salad recipe, Jenna combined 3 eighths cup of raisins, 7 eighths cup of oranges, and 3 quarters cup of apples. About how many cups of fruit are in the salad? So it's wanting us to estimate, okay? Well, three eighths, that's about half, okay? Seven eighths, that's about one. Seven's almost as much as eight. And again, three quarters is almost one, okay? So now we have one, two, and a half. And don't forget to put cups, okay? All right. Tyler had two and seven sixteenth yards of fabric. He used three quarters of a yard to make a vest. About how much fabric does he have left? So two and seven sixteenths is about half. So two and a half minus three quarters is about one. So because I'm only subtracting those whole numbers, Two minus one is one, and then I can keep my half. And I make sure we put yard. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. Okay. And we're going to do the star review. Okay. Jason bought two identical boxes of nails. One box weighs 168 ounces. What is the total weight of ounces of the nails Jason bought? So we have two options. We can add 168 and 168, or we can do 168 times two. I tend to like multiplication better. So I'm gonna say two times eight, 16 carry that one. Two times six is 12 plus one, 13. Two times one is two plus one is three. So don't forget to put ounces. Okay. All right. 
Hank wants to divide 345 pieces of construction paper evenly among 23 classmates. How many pieces will be left over? So it wants to know the remainder, okay? So I'm actually gonna come over and do that on a separate piece of paper so that we can fit it all in, okay? So 345 and we're dividing that by 23, okay? Now, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna write down some multiples of 23 because I do not happen to know them off the top of my head. Okay. Okay, hopefully I won't have to go any further than that, but we'll see, okay? All right, so 23 is not gonna go into three, placeholder, okay? 23 will go into 34 once, that's the closest I'm gonna get, okay? One times 23, 23, subtract and get 11, okay? Now 11 is smaller than 23, so I can bring down my five and look, one, two, three, four, five times. Okay, so 15 pieces. And if you ever can't remember how to spell pieces, it has the word pie in it, pieces of pie. Everybody gets confused on the E to the I first, pie. Okay, now, which is the most reasonable estimate? Or 23.63 divided by 6. Well, I would round 23.63 to 24. And if we divided that by 6, we would get 4. Because 4 times 6 is 24. Okay. What is a rule for the sequence below? So, we need to find out the difference between each one. Okay. So, I am going to come down here and I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to subtract them. 2.85 minus 1.8, and I don't like not having anything there, so I'm going to put a zero because it's after the decimal. Okay? Five, oh, first I need to drop my decimal. 5 minus 0, 5, 8 minus 8, 0, 2 minus 1, 1. So now I just need to see if that holds true for the next batch. Okay? So 3.90 minus 2.85, boom, okay. Now, zero cannot take away five, so 10 minus five is five, eight minus eight is zero, and three minus two is one. So it is, you guys can't see, sorry. Okay, so now I know I subtracted here to find the difference, but the numbers in this order are going up. So it's going to be plus and then 1.05. Okay. You can write plus out if you want to. I don't. So, all right. Go ahead and write your work down. Make sure that you show your work. It's important, guys. Okay. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 6.3. Come on back for 6.4. See you soon.